Welcome to a Legendarium special about Daniel Dancer, the greatest miser in Georgian Britain. In this episode, we will talk about how Daniel Dancer hoarded money and became one of the most notorious men of his age. Though his countryman John Eulis became the more famous miser, Daniel Dancer proved a more accomplished and thoroughgoing money hoarder. Ironically, Daniel Dancer came of age in a wealthy agricultural region of Great Britain, being born in 1716 to a family in Harrow, about 10 miles outside London. Daniel Dancer likely became a miser because his family set such a good example. His grandfather and father both became noted misers, as did his sister. Daniel Dancer is recorded as having three brothers, himself being the oldest. After inheriting the whole of his father's estate in 1736, Daniel had an income of over £3,000 a year at the age of 20, but his main preoccupation became hoarding his wealth. For 30 years, Dancer's sister served as his housekeeper, and she proved as miserly as him, often wearing tatters and rags. If anyone came near the house she shared with her brother, she chased them away with a pitchfork for fear they came to beg or steal. Not that any sensible person wished to travel to the dancer house. A ruin of windows paned with paper and dirty rags, a roof covered with loose tiles, and patches of hay stuffed into growing holes in the walls. Together, Daniel and his sister cooked Sunday meals and then stretched them out over the entire week, surviving off of hard dumplings, sometimes stuffed with dead animals. Occasionally, Dancer got lucky, such as the time he found a partly decomposed sheep in the countryside, which his sister turned into a two-week supply of meat pies. The stench from this cuisine probably eluded Dancer, for he did not bathe, clean his house, or wash his clothes. Indeed, he wore his garb until it disintegrated. To wash himself, he scrubbed himself with water and sand, then walked around unclothed, even in the dead of winter, until he dried. Local children came to believe Daniel Dancer, a scarecrow come to life by his appearance, especially since he wore a coat made from bits of many-colored fabric scavenged from the road and sewn together much like the biblical Joseph and his coat of many colors. Dancer spent most of his time scrounging the countryside for bits of firewood, bones, and cow feces, which he stuffed in his pockets. Sometimes he chased away dogs to snatch the bones they gnawed, and no expenditure proved too slight to be avoided. He obtained an occasional candle by swapping snuff that he mooched a pinch at a time from other people. Once a friend sent him a meal, but it congealed in cold weather. After agonizing over how to reheat the dish without the use of an appallingly expensive fire, Dancer placed the food between pewter plates and sat on the top like a laying hen. Once he went into London to visit a civil servant, and a man, upon seeing his tattered appearance, gave him a penny as if he were a beggar. Dancer also worried about even potential expenditures. A pet dog named Bob became his sole indulgence, but he worried about being sued if the dog should injure his neighbor's livestock. To eliminate this horrifying risk to his purse, he punched his dog's teeth out one at a time. Unsurprisingly, he had only two friends in the world, Captain Holmes and his sister, Lady Tempest. While visiting his home, they took note of Daniel Dancer's increasingly frail sister during the 1760s. They advised Dancer to take his sister to a doctor. Instead, he allowed her to die without medical treatment, which he reasoned would be only a wicked attempt to go against the will of God. Yet Dancer did prove willing to spend money on a legal battle over her fortune, which he won along with a 2,000 pound inheritance. Daniel filled his sister's place in his household with an old servant named Griffin 
Griffiths that he paid 18 pence a week, a meager wage that still allowed the servant to live more comfortably than the master. Since Griffiths spent most of his time also roaming the countryside looking for scraps, the dancer house became a filthy pigsty and weeds choked the garden. Towards the end of his life, Daniel lived in fear of thieves who knew that he hoarded money and looked for ways to steal it. The miser solved this problem by stashing his money in odd places. During the autumn of 1794, Dancer took to his sickbed at the age of 78. Despite his protests about the horrifying expense, his friend Lady Tempest sent for a doctor. By the time the doctor arrived, Dancer passed the point where the doctor could help him. In his final moments, Dancer willed his vast fortune to his only friends, Lady Tempest and her brother, Captain Holmes. They and their servants set about cleaning up his house, no small feat, in part, to find where he squirreled away his money. Searchers found 2,500 pounds in a heap of animal feces and smaller amounts hidden away in teapots, crammed into holes in the walls and within the chimney. Some have noted similarities between Charles Dickens' character Ebenezer Scrooge and Daniel Dancer. Yet while Scrooge learned the error of his ways, Dancer be came a skin flint and penny pincher until the day he died in his own filth. That wraps things up for this episode of The Legendarium. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, press like. If you want to see more, press subscribe. And if you've got anything to say, let me know in the comments section. Thanks again for joining me, and I hope that you have a great rest of the day.